CrazyMikeZaps.com with an iPad app review for Dead Trigger. Civilization has turned zombie in this first person shooter game, leaving it up to you and your cache of weapons to stop them dead in their tracks. Getting into the action, you're going to notice the graphics are quite nice and the effect of the water dripping down your face is quite realistic. Now you have objectives in all of the different missions, they just they vary. Sometimes it's protect a van or an entrance, whatever. You have a variety of weapons, in this case a Remington shotgun works quite nice. It's very good and the closer you get, it's typically the better it works, such as total carnage and headshots. The AK-47, which I'm sporting now, is also a really nice weapon. They all work much better after you upgrade them, so I encourage you to do so. After you complete objectives, as you level up, you'll get harder missions to do to earn you more experience points to level up and unlock other weapons. Speaking of weapons, we're into guns here. You can see the different guns. Some I've purchased, some I haven't. There are also items, and this is the loadout phase before you go into any objective or mission. Now, the whole idea in this one is to collect boxes and get them to the van, which is the X on the radar in the upper left. And you do that by, well, getting rid of everything in your way. When you see that red face on the screen, it means you got bit by a zombie, so you need to take action. Take their heads off with the Colt M4 here. Again, level that, that gun up or upgrade that gun and it becomes very powerful. It's great at taking heads out from long distance. I'm trying to take this guy's head out and it happens, but uh, I don't think you're going to see it. But the heads come off from long distance, which is quite nice. Again, if you want total carnage though, just upgrade your AK-47, get close and make sure you shoot those guys on the ground. They will bite your ankles. There is some hilarity in here. There's a zombie bait you can throw. The zombie bait actually falls on the ground. Sounds like a musical truck from an ice cream truck. And when they all gather around, because they will, you blow them up with a hand grenade. Now again, you can level up in the game. When you do, you'll unlock other weapons or the opportunity to. You'll get cash and gold in this game. And you can find that on the levels in suitcases as well randomly from killing the zombies as well as uh, extra bullets for all your weapons. Also, you can buy gold and cash through in-app purchase. It's fairly reasonable. I think I spent a couple bucks doing so. My favorite weapon currently is this Remington that's been upgraded. I like to get up close and personal and blow them up. This is a protect them phase. You have to protect the entrance and the van. If either one of those are compromised, well, your game's over. It's a great job by Madfinger in this 99-cent first-person shooter game. Until next time, Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps saying see ya.